Don't do this unless you're living in Antarctica. Hello and welcome back to the quest for pace. Depending on where you live and depending on the season, you might face some changes in the weather that make it super difficult to decide what to wear for your next run. Since throwing on everything you own simply because it appears to be chilly outdoors is not a great option, here are a couple of tips and tricks that will hopefully help you to always feel comfortable while you're running. Number one, know yourself. Know when your body will start to heat up. Know how your body reacts to certain temperatures and know how your body reacts to certain intensity levels of running. I know that my body will start to heat up after I ran the first kilometer. So I can plan ahead and wear fewer layers during the winter time simply because I know, okay, the first kilometer might be a little bit chilly, but then my body will start to heat up and then I will feel comfortable for the remainder of the run. I also know how my body reacts to certain temperature levels. I know that I can wear shorts until around two to three degrees Celsius because this is still comfortable for my body. If you're not sure what the right level of clothing is appropriate for your body, then I would always suggest you start with fewer clothes than you might actually need and to stay close to your home so you can just find out is this too cold, then just return home, put on another layer and you will feel comfortable. This is so much better than putting on too many layers and then feeling uncomfortable. Also, you then prohibit yourself from learning what is the right clothing for you. So always start with fewer clothes, stay close to your home, do a quick loop, see how it feels. If you start to heat up and you start to feel comfortable, then you know, okay, this is the appropriate layer of clothing, this is the appropriate uh, thickness of clothing, Th these are the appropriate clothes for this kind of weather and then you can uh, build on this knowledge. So yeah, just start to learn yourself. Also know how your body reacts to certain intensities of running. I know that when I do some threshold running or some intervals, I will generate lots of heat, so I only need a very few layers during the winter time. Often it is enough, even if it's below freezing, to wear, like right now, t-shirt and maybe a very thin uh, running jacket. Th this would be more than enough for myself to run during uh, freezing, to run in freezing temperatures when I know, okay, threshold run is coming up. When I know there will be an easy run coming up, then of course I will put on maybe a third layer or so because then I will not generate as much heat as I would during the high intensity sessions. Tip number two, plan your training. So you want to know what kind of training you will do that day. If you know, okay, I am going to do a threshold session, then you know, okay, I might need fewer clothes than when you plan to do an easy run, because with an easy run, your body generates less heat, and so you need a little bit more clothes to protect your body from the temperatures and to keep your body warm. Finally, tip number three, check the weather before you go out for a run. So it might appear to be chilly outdoors, or it might have been chilly yesterday, but this could have changed already. So just check the weather before you head out of the door, because sometimes it might have been freezing yesterday, but today it is already 5 degrees Celsius, so there's a huge difference in the temperature from yesterday to today. And then when you would put on the same clothes as you've done yesterday, you would feel very uncomfortable, it would be way too warm, you would be just sweating and you wouldn't enjoy the run. So yeah, make always sure to check the weather before making any decision because this is really the most important thing to know besides knowing how your body reacts and uh, what training you have planned for today because only then when you know these three factors, when you know how your body reacts when you know what you want to do and when you know what the temperatures are, then you can select the appropriate clothes. Yeah, 
Sounds simple, sounds easy, but too many times I see people wearing too many things during the winter time, sweating like crazy, feeling uncomfortable, simply because they want to be comfortable from the beginning and then they start to suffer throughout the uh, rest of the run. So in this case, rather think about it in a way of you can't be comfortable all the time, but you can minimize the time you are actually uncomfortable. This is what I also um, meant with my example of, okay, I know that I will feel a little bit chilly during the first kilometer, but then I feel, feel fine. So I just accept that I will feel a little bit uncomfortable at the start of the run, but then I'm super happy for the rest of the run. If you just think, okay, I want to be super warm right from the beginning, then you will not have a great time for the rest of the run because at some point your body will start to heat up and then things just go south. And uh, yeah, these are my little tricks. I hope they help you to feel comfortable in any kind of weather. With that, we are at the end of this video. As always, stay motivated, stay running. See you!